Welcome everyone to my most anticipated movies of 2016. So yes, let's get right into it. I have one honorable mention, and that is Central Intelligence. This movie looked funny as fuck. I cannot wait to see The Rock just bring it. Yeah, I said it. And hopefully he'll make Kevin Hart look good, because Kevin Hart is a hit and miss actor for me. Sure, I like Get Hard this year, but still, I want to see him work with a lot of people, so maybe The Rock can help him a little bit more. So, yeah. As for my actual list, we're going to start it right off with The Mummy. This is a movie I've been waiting for since 2008, because it was originally going to be the fourth movie in The Mummy franchise. Obviously, that didn't happen, so now they're going to reboot the Mummy franchise for this Universal Monster Cinematic Universe. Now, from what I hear, Dracula Untold is a part of this universe, but I hear that movie is not very good to start off the universe. So, I hope they disavow Dracula Untold and start completely fresh with the Mummy, because you don't want to start off your first movie in a cinematic universe and everybody hates it. No. And, just like I was expecting, Tom Cruise is gonna headline this movie. But, will he be Van Helsing? Because that's the thing. Tom Cruise was gonna be Van Helsing in the Van Helsing re reboot. So him being cast in this Mummy movie almost kind of confirms that fact that he will face the mummy as Van Helsing? It's a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Zootopia. This movie looks amazing. I can't wait for Zootopia. It looks like it's going to be probably one of Disney's best animated movies. Probably since Beauty and the Beast. Possibly. <laughs> Can't wait for that. The Popeye movie. I've been waiting for this Popeye movie since 2012 when I gave my thoughts on it. Yeah, I gave my thoughts on the movie three years ago. I recently took it down now because it was old. But the last time I saw anything on this movie, Jim Carrey and Amy Adams were set to voice Popeye and Olive Oil, respectively. And I've seen a couple of picture stills from this movie. The animation looks nice. I think there's a trailer out. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But I have to look for it. So, yeah. Hopefully it's good. Because I've been waiting for it for three years. Literally. The remake or reboot of Jumanji. Now, now, wait. Don't snap my head off just yet. Hear me out. Jumanji is a great ass movie. I fucking have fun with that movie every time I watch it. Robin Williams, rest in peace. You're fucking the man, and you make that movie just more fucking awesome to watch. However, the Zathura, you know, the sequel to Jumanji, blew ass. It blew ass crack. The fact that they even made a sequel in the first place was fucking crazy. Not even calling it Jumanji anyway, but calling it Zathura. Now a lot of people know Zathura is even a sequel. So, yeah. So, the remake of Jumanji is kind of necessary just to wipe out Zathura from my mouth. Ugh. Hopefully it's good. I I I'm just hoping somebody, they'll cast somebody that cannot, that can't pass Robin Williams. But it's a good match for a Robin Williams replacement because you can't replace him in that movie, period. But if you get somebody that's good and funny, you just might hit the nail. Deadpool. Enough said. The Divergent series, Allegiant. This is actually part one. I know what you're saying. James, where's Allegiant? But it's not called part one, exactly. The one that's coming out the year after is called Ascendant. Confusing? Yes. I know. But this is one way not to confuse their audience of them splitting the movies into two parts. 
when actually they are splitting them into two parts but calling them two different things so yeah I'm hoping I'm just hoping this is good because I'm still going off the events of the first movie the second movie was good but it wasn't the first movie so they want, it hasn't sucked yet so keep it going I can't wait to see this third chapter in this movie and I hope it's great I hope it's not like a part one where you're just sitting there you're getting bored and you're hearing nothing but dialogue hope shit actually happens in this movie okay London has fallen the trailer has hit I haven't watched it yet but I'm going off Olympus has fallen because Olympus has fallen was like the best die-hard movie we could have asked for so the fact that they're making a sequel to it and it's taking place in London should be awesome I read what the plot synopsis was about. I actually gave my thoughts on this movie a year ago. So, yeah. I can't wait to see that. That should be a lot of fun. The Jungle Book. This is the Disney reboot. Or remake. The live action remake, of course. This CGI movie looks absolutely astounding. Scarlett Johansson has the snake. Oh my god, that is going to be badass. And of course, by the time this movie comes out, I will have my review of the original Jungle Book and the Jungle Book 2. So, yeah. We're in for a treat with this one. I hope. Ratchet and Clank. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Ratchet and Clank games, but I do have me some fun with those games. And especially on the PS3 days, oh, I used to have me some fun with that last one. I think it was called Ratchet and Clank. It was the one with Clank is on the cover. I forgot what the name of it was, and it was like a split cover. I forget what the fuck it was called. But I had me a fun time with that game, so this movie should be no exception. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell. Surprisingly, I didn't hate the first one. So I'm actually looking forward to the sequel. So I hear they're bringing, uh, oh my god, I forgot the damn names of those two characters in here. And one of them is played by WWE wrestler Sheamus. Yeah, Sheamus, the tube of the tub of mayonnaise himself, is going to be one of the, the two characters that we all know and love from the series. Fuck, their names keep escaping me. I don't know why. But they're going to be in human form. But then they'll mutate into those two characters. So, it should be interesting to see. The Conjuring 2, The Enfield Poltergeist. That's a long ass title. But, I love the first movie. The first movie kind of scared the shit out of me when I seen it. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to the second movie. You got everybody coming back, including James Wan. That's great keep it that way okay so scare the fuck out of me some more I don't give a fuck as long as the movie is good we're gonna have us a good time now you see me the second act I really enjoyed the first movie that ending however was kinda fucking stupid but I still enjoyed the movie for what it was I haven't seen the trailers on this yet I, I think there's a trailer out for it I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to look that up after the video but this should be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. I love Fisher. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. You lucky bastard. Lucky. Warcraft. Yep. This movie looks badass. I can't wait. I have not even played a World of Warcraft game in the longest time. It's been over 10 years, I think. World of Warcraft has gone a long way, so it's been a while since I played that game. But this movie looks fucking dope. Went to BlizzCon this year. This movie looks insane. Thank you, Universal, and thank you, Blizzard, for having a part of this. This could be the start of video game movie revolution. It can all start with Warcraft in June. Independence Day Resurgence. Now, everybody's not really looking forward to this because Will Smith's in it. Like I always said, 
fuck Will Smith because he's all about the money nowadays. Fuck you for getting the head that big, you fucking retard. No wonder I don't. No wonder I'm slowly losing respect for you it's because you, you <sighs> shit like that is what pisses me off about certain actors. It's doing the same thing to Bruce Willis. You guys need to get your heads out of your asses. But anyways, the plot alone is what got me intrigued about this movie, okay? The reinforcements are coming 20 years later, even though in their time it's like only been like an hour or maybe 10 minutes, but it took them 20 years in our time to get to Earth. That's kind of funny. <laughs> so I can't wait to see how they pull this off. This is going to be fucking amazing. And uh, 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 I hope Jeff Goldblum uh, 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 get, gives the code again and you know, put a little bit of dino DNA in there to, to, to make them become a dinosaur and maybe be in Jurassic World 2. And uh, uh, yeah. The Born Betrayal. Now, this is one I've been waiting on. I think we all have been waiting on it for the longest time. But we're finally going to get Matt Damon back as born. It would have been nice if they would have had J Alex Cross in there too. Is it Alex Cross? I think so. No. That sounds like the character that fucking Tyler Perry played. I think his name is Alex. Or is it Cross? I know it's Cross, but what the fuck is his first name? It might be Alex Cross. But anyways, I wanted to see those two work together. That would have been kind of awesome. Kind of fight each other for a second and then work together. That would be kind of cool. But yeah. It's Paul Greengrass, Matt Damon. Action's going to be great. I can't fucking wait. Ooh, that rhymed. And I loved it. Another Disney remake. Pete's Dragon. This is one I really can't wait to see. Because I want to know what that dragon's going to look like. We haven't seen nothing from this dragon yet. We haven't seen nothing from the set yet. Disney is really keeping this in the shadow. But they did uh, do a little panel at D23 earlier this year. I know because I worked there at Disney. So I know this shit. Still didn't show nothing from this movie. Just the, the name alone. And who's in it. Just the mystery in that itself. I can't wait for Underworld Next Generation. Now, I, I I wasn't the biggest fan of Awakening, but I didn't hate it. I was just disappointed with it. I'm willing to give Underworld the benefit of the doubt because it is one of my favorite vampire movies. And Kate Beckinsale is back. It's not somebody else doing it. Rise of the Lycus is what really got me rejuvenated back in the franchise again after watching Rise of the Lycus for the first time a year and a half ago now. So, I'm really looking forward to the next generation. I'm hoping Scott Speedman, Speedman comes back as well. He has really nothing to do. Come back already. You're a father now, damn it. <laughs> Jack Reacher, never go back. Of course. A fucking course. The first Jack, Jack Reacher was the shit. Okay, sure, it may not have much action in it, but Jack Reacher was a very story-driven movie. And I hope this one is no different. I hope it is a story-driven movie with some nice, well-shot action and Tom Cruise whooping that ass again. Because that's what he does best in every fucking movie he makes. So, yeah. Jack Reacher, you got my money. Damn, it's been three years since I've seen that movie in theaters. Wow. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I kind of like Star Wars Rogue One a little bit better, but yeah. The mystery in the dark continues for Star Wars. We don't really know much about this movie except it's going to involve Rogue Squadron. And I do believe the plans to steal the Death Star, that was the plot of the first movie, so to speak. Whatever the case, this should be fucking awesome. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait. That little snippet teaser got me excited, the one I reviewed, but of course Disney took it down so fast, everybody thought I was bullshitting. I don't bullshit, people. I don't have time to bullshit. If I'm making a video about something, it is legit, okay? So, yeah.
It's not my fault. Studios are greedy and don't want us to see it when they bring it, when somebody leaks it. But I'm glad they leak it because I get to see it. I bust my ass trying to find it, and I did. So that was cool. The next, hopefully next, video game resurgence movie, Assassin's Creed. And I love what they're doing with this. They're not just remaking the first game. The, he's uh, Michael Fassbender is playing a different character in this game, as you would in all the other. I mean, in this movie, as you would all this uh, the other games. Uh, glad to see that type of consistency pass over into the movie version. That's awesome. So, I'm pretty sure he'll be Desmond Miles, but he'll be another ancestor to Desmond Desmond Miles, possibly. So, god damn, December can't get here fast enough. A whole another year. We should be seeing Assassin's Creed right now this Christmas. That's how close we were to this movie. A whole another year. Damn it, Fox. Damn it. Doctor Strange. Long overdue. Long awaited. Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't want to see no set photos. I just want to see the very first trailer. I'm not looking up anything Doctor Strange related until that trailer comes out by Marvel Studios themselves. So, I, I got patience. I can wait. But, I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I want to see it a little bit right now, though. I really do. I want to see how Dr. Cumberbatch is going to look as Dr. Strange. And I'm still calling you Dr. Cumberbatch until this movie comes out. Even though you're a she-male in this other movie in uh, Zoolander number 2. But still. Dr. Strange. We're getting it. Just under a year away, we're getting it. Yes. X-Men Apocalypse. Do I have to say more than that? It's fucking apocalypse. Finally. It only took 16 goddamn years. 16 years. We've been waiting for fucking apocalypse. Thank you, Brian Singer. You're fucking amazing. Can't wait for that. Also can't wait for this. Star Trek Beyond. I've seen a couple of set photos in this movie. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I just want to know who the villain's going to be. I just hope I'm not let down. Oh, J.J. Abrams is not directing it right now because he's doing Star Wars. But he did. He is the producer, which doesn't mean much. It just means he showed up on set for like five minutes and left to go back to Star Wars. Sure. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because I did enjoy the first two movies. Especially the second one. That, that has some silly cheesy fun with that one though so hopefully Star Trek Beyond is no exception Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice of course this movie pissed me off there in production cause you hired Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor I'm still not 100% sold on Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor but I will give him the benefit of the doubt even though that kills me to say that until the movie comes out I did like him in this trailer he was kind of funny just as long as he doesn't sound like that the whole way through because then that would be kind of annoying after a while but I do love what I'm seeing I love the fact that Doomsday is in it and everybody's complaining about it but but Doomsday might be the secondary villain in this movie there might be a whole nother villain you know, a robot, alien, you know what I'm talking about. So I hope the other part of that plot was true and he does show up after Doomsday. I hope in Doomsday, Doomsday is like in the middle and save Brainiac until the end. That'd be kind of cool. Number two, Suicide Squad. Of course, Suicide Squad. And I hear it's PG-13. Damn it. Oh well. It should still be a lot of fun though. Even though it's PG-13. But still. I don't mind the rating. I just really want to see DC do an R-rated movie. And not V for Vendetta. But I'll talk about an R-rated movie that I actually want to sit through more. But still. Should be a lot of fun. I can't wait till August. What do we got? Nine, nine months right now? Just nine more months? God damn it. 
Why DC? Why? And last but certainly not least, Captain America Civil War. And if you've seen that trailer a week and a half ago, you know the fuck why. This is my number one, okay? Black Panther, finally on screen. Yeah, he's on Iron Man's side at that. Damn. We still haven't seen Ant-Man yet. We haven't seen Spider-Man. We haven't seen Crossbones, who was the villain in this movie. Uh, they did a good job at hiding a lot of stuff, including Ant-Man. Well, I'm pretty sure Ant-Man was in the trailer. He'll just probably like this, this, this big. He was probably on Captain America's shoulder that they were all running and fucking Scarlet Witch flies. She can fucking fly in this movie. Oh my god. Oh yes, she's gonna fucking fly. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, Elizabeth Olsen. Yes, 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 yes. Black Panther. Bring it. Fucking bring it, man. Kinda up the ass. And his suit is made by vibranium. Oh shit. Oh fucking shit. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking awesome. This is gonna be fucking awesome. Action's gonna be insane. The Rooster Buzz is back. It's going to be the best sequel since The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier's in here. He's going to be a good guy. He's going to kick ass with fucking Captain America and whooping Iron Man's ass. Oh my god, that scene was fucking incredible. Making my mouth water. Fucking incredible shit. I can't wait for this. It's going to be fucking amazing. <sighs> that is my most anticipated movies of 2016. Let me know what your guys' are down below. If you made a video, let me know down below. I'll go and check that out. But uh, yes, I can't wait for these movies. It's going to be a great year for 2016. I will see you guys later when I talk about my most anticipated games of 2016. Later.